Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. I'd like to capture my thoughts this morning with a, with a, with a tag, painful wake up moments. You know, there are some moments when, I mean, there are some, th there are some times we are jolted into reality by pain. We are jolted into reality by unforeseen circumstances or by painful circumstances. There are some excruciating circumstances that drive us to the place of reality. And that's what I'm going to talk about. In Acts chapter 9, verse 3, if you wrote in Acts chapter 9, there was this young man called Saul. I mean, uh, I mean, he was a trained lawyer. He studied under Gamaliel. He was very high and mighty of good repute. I mean, he was knowledgeable in the law. And everybody, I mean, he was so respected that he was given the, the, the letters carrying the letters to execute or to arrest the Christians, uh, those who believe in this thing, arrest them and execute them. In actual fact, he was the one who supervised the stoning of Stephen. And the Bible said he had gone to collect letters and he was, he was in, 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 in haste to bring this false religion as they termed it. He was in the haste to, to bring them to book and to make sure to eradicate Christianity, remove the gospel from the language of the Jews. This was Paul. But the Bible says he had gone to acquire letters, he had gone to get letters of accreditation that gives him, that gives him right to persecute the, the Christians. And he was riding a horse to Damascus. But on the way to Damascus, there was a lightning from heaven and he fell from his horse. And that fall, that, that painful fall from his horse, not a voluntary fall, not something that he jumped from the, this time. He was forced by, by, by an act of God to fall from the horse and be flat on the ground. And it was at that place that he woke up to the reality of Jesus. That he woke up to the reality that there is a God. That he woke up to the reality that you don't joke with God. And if I look at what, is it, what God said to him, it is hard for you to kick against the pricks. You can't. It took a fall. He was riding a horse of power. He was riding a horse of pride. He was riding a horse of purpose, dangerous purpose. He was riding that horse. And all he was doing, he was going to wipe out. The, he was an anti-God, an anti-Christianity, an anti-Christ figure. And all he was doing was, uh, he thought he was, he was doing the work of God, but he was doing it uh, with zeal. And he was, he, was just, he was just creating a mess for Christianity. It took a fall for him to wake up. Are you aware that sometimes in God's dealings with us, if we don't listen to the still small voice, if we don't listen to the voice of conscience, if we don't listen to the admonitions of other people that he sends down our way, we are going to get a jolt, a jolt of lightning that will wake us up. And it's going to be a painful fall. It's going to be something that is going to be disastrous. disastrous. God is going to use the anvil of disaster to bring reality to us and to bring repentance to us. God is going to use that. If that's what we need, because he wants us saved, he wants us, uh, he wants us so close, he wants us in heaven so badly, that sometimes, if whatever he has to do, resort to in order to get our attention, sometimes he will need to do that. Listen, for Jonah, he made a, him to be swallowed by a whale. So Jonah goes to God's people smelling of fish food. That's what it takes. Painful wake-up moments. That is moments that will make you wake up. To the reality of God, the reality of God's word, the reality of God's plan, and the reality of God's purpose for your life. Sometimes God will introduce the cup of pain for you to come into reality. The reality of who he is, who you are, and what work he has for you. It's, it's, it's not a palatable uh, concept to think about, but that's the truth of it. Don't wait to fall from your high horse before you come to that reality. If it is possible for you to walk through that reality, into that reality by simple obedience to God's word. I think that's the path that you should pursue. I think it's much better than that. Anyway, like I always say, choices, yours. So mine, I choose to avoid painful moments. Why? Because I've been there before. Don't ask me. It's not nice. See you later.